have a few minutes so I have to get on here and talk with all of you first of all first of all it is May 1st it's May 1st like we're in Q2 second quarter of the year and this is the second month of Q2 but we're in month five we are in month five of 2020 and I want to know what have you accomplished I'm asking not to judge I'm asking not to make you feel bad because maybe you haven't done something I'm asking because I genuinely want to know I genuinely want to know and it's important that when we set goals we talk about whether we met those goals or not right because when we set goals and if we meet those goals thumbs up time for us to keep moving on right we move on to the next thing and we continue to set goals but if we set goals and we have not met those goals we need to sit down and evaluate why exactly we didn't meet those goals what happened in place of meeting those goals you know whatever the case is so under this post i want you to write your goals for may first of all and i also want you to share if you met your goals for january to april and i only want you to share it because i want you to be real with yourself if you're in this group this group is emerging purpose this group is emerge in purpose. Emerge, it's an action word. It is an action word, which means we have to take action, which means we have to, we have to literally get up off our feet, do whatever we have to do, do the research, sit in the corner and wait for God to give us some instruction. Whatever we have to do, we have to actually do something to actually get to the point of walking in purpose. Um, and I just wanted to come on and express to you guys how important it is to set goals. To set goals. Now, I know I started off kind of going in and it's been a minute. Like, first of all, how y'all doing? How are y'all doing? You know, your girl out here, she's still an essential worker. Um, comment below if you're an essential worker. Um, are you going to work? Are you working from home? What's kind of going on for you with this um, whole quarantine and all of this going on? What's going on? What's your life like? Um, and if you get to work from home and you're not really, um, you don't happen to go to work or anything, what goals have you set, sis? Because I want to know because your girl been out here working and I got so much that I want to share with y'all. I have so many testimonials to share with you guys and I have, I can't wait to um, share the good news share the progress that some of my students have been making in biz from scratch as well like god has been moving i know that people have been saying that 2020 is canceled and sis let me tell you if you're if you've been one of those people that have been saying that 2020 is canceled trust me you got first of all you got to change your language 2020 is not canceled everything that god has promised you everything that he said will that will happen everything will happen but you gotta put in the work. I know if you guys have been with me for a minute, I know that you have been listening to um, Grace, Faith, and Works, the podcast, and you know I always say it, faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead, and it's been a minute since we had Grace, Faith, and Works, but trust me, y'all, it's on its way back, but it's coming back better than ever. It's coming back with a new name, and it's coming back with an even stronger purpose, with an even stronger mission, and I'm super excited to share it with you, but it would not be coming back when it's supposed to be coming back if I had not set goals at the beginning of this year, if I had not set goals at the beginning of every month, if I had not set goals and been intentional about meeting those goals. So y'all, that's why it's so important that every month, every first of the month, I'm like, hey, Tammy, hey, Katira, hey, Jasmine, what goals are you setting for this month? Because I want to know. And if you are having a hard time meeting those goals, let me know so that we can work together and figure out how we going to help you get on track. How we going to help you stay on track. How can I help you to be intentional? How can I help you to be focused? Um, if you are working from home, 
you probably got a lot going on especially if you got some kids and you know everything is closed i'm sure it's hard girl my baby ain't going to, to his his classes no more i'm an essential worker and i'm running my business from home full time and i'm going to school um so let me tell you i understand i get it okay I get it. I don't have multiple children. I have one child and he is um, two and a half and he, he's very, he's very busy. Sometimes it feels like I have more than one child. So I understand where you can be like, well, I don't have time. You know, I don't have the energy. I just don't have, I just can't do it. And I get it. But I want y'all to start changing your language. No matter what it looks like to your natural eye, I want you to start changing your language, okay? I want you to start saying, I can do this. I can do that regardless of whatever is going on, regardless of whatever it is that's in your life that's trying to make it look like you can't get something done. So I want you to set goals under this post, at least one goal for the month of May at least one goal for the month of may and i want you to type in how you plan to get that done and if you don't really know how you plan to get it done type that in too so that i can come back and be like okay sis let's let's come up with a strategy plan okay sis let's come up with um a focus that you need to do like every single day let's figure out what it is that we need to do together to make sure that you're hitting these goals if I'm telling you I'm gonna be here every month on the first of every month we're gonna have this talk because it's so important like in this time this is an unprecedented time first of all <laughs> if you like me you probably only got eight nails you might only got six nails left on because your homegirl ain't doing nails no more. Your nail tech ain't doing nails no more. If you're like me, you probably got half your hair in fresh braids and the other half in some singles that you didn't start so that you can crochet some braids together so you ain't walking around looking a hot mess. And it's okay. And I'm on my way to my essential job with my hair half done. But it, it's up. It's still presentable. It's looking good. And I made it a goal. Like, I'm not just going to sit around. I'm not going to sit around in the house and not get nothing done. And this is this is my new. This is simple, right? Nails, hair. This is this is simple stuff. But if I couldn't even keep the promise to myself um to start doing my hair because I said, you know, for my business um in the rest of Q2 and the rest of 2020, I plan to go live more often. In my business, I plan to be more present um i plan to show my face more i plan to do more things so with that being said my hair had to be done because i wasn't about to be coming out here looking crazy okay um <laughs> so i want y'all to understand how important it is to set these goals to get this stuff done to actually take action faith literally faith without works is there you can sit you can sit around all day and be like, I'm just going to wait for such and such to drop in my lap. I'm just going to wait for this to happen because God said it's going to happen. So I'm going to sit here and wait. But no, honey, if you're not even taking time to, to spend time with God on a daily basis, you're not even spending time with him on a daily basis. And you're talking about you waiting for him to drop something in your lap. How? How? If spending time with God is the one goal that you make for this month. Setting time, aside, setting time aside every single day, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes a day to just sit in the presence of God, to invite him in your home. If that's your goal, I'm happy with that because let me tell you, God is the CEO of my business. I tell my clients this all the time. Yes, when I go on stage, yes, when I'm doing a virtual conference, whatever, I'm going to be like, I'm Victoria Grace, CEO of Grace for Works, whatever, whatever. However, within that within that um speech within my whatever i'm gonna say god is gonna be brought up and it's gonna be known that he is a part of this as well he is the co-owner of this as well if not the full 100 percent owner because i want him to tell me exactly what it is that he want me to do because i've been successful in that way i've been successful with doing what it is that he wants me to do when i tried to do it on my own it just didn't work when i tried to do it on my own it did not work I had some results. 
I had some results, not gonna lie. I had results. I was like, okay, look at me growing here. But once I surrendered to God and said, okay, God, you really the CEO of this. You really, you really at the top of this. It was like, it took off. I don't have no cares. I don't have no burdens on me. I'm not stressed about my business. I'm not stressed about where my next client is gonna come from. I'm not stressed about anything because one of my goals at the beginning of 2020 was to put my business in God's hand and that's what I've been intentional about doing. And so the first step of putting my business in God's hand at the beginning of shoot, my business and my life, y'all, really. Um, the first step to doing that was to make sure I spend time with him. I, I sat in his presence every single day. Bef before I got, I mean, I've been working. Um, I never stopped working. So my schedule hasn't really changed too much um, concerning this, this pandemic or whatever. But I know at night I get sleepy, I get tired. So in the morning, before my son wakes up, before my husband's up, whatever is the best time for me to spend time with God. So I had to be intentional about getting up and actually doing it. I knew at night, first of all, I get tired. And at night, I got to have family time. I had to have time with my husband. I had to make time I had to figure out how to make time for all these important things in my life, right? And I had to make that sacrifice like, okay here's my schedule i'm gonna go to sleep a little bit earlier and even if i do go to sleep past my bedtime i'ma still be up so that i can at least spend 10 to 15 minutes in the morning before god um, with god before i do anything else so that i can at least at least praise him for the day before i before i do anything and that was my goal so i'm just giving you guys examples on your goal doesn't have to be, I'm going to make this much money in my business at this month. I mean, you can definitely make those goals and you should make those goals, but your goal should be more intentional, tangible things that you know you can do. And it needs to start small because if you're not spending that time with God, if you're not even spending time and you're not even, true sending out an email once a week. Because I know some of y'all, when you come in this group, I ask specific questions. And I'm like, what do you need help with concerning faith and or business? I need help with being consistent. I need help with um, setting goals. I need help with bringing clients into my business. I need help with this, this, and this. And if you're in this group, and you, if you were invited to this group, or if you saw me talk somewhere else, then you know, first of all, God is the head. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do when it comes to consistency, when it comes to getting clients, when it comes to making money is to go to God, period. I can have all the strategy for you in the world, but we're here to build kingdom success um, businesses, businesses built on the kingdom. Um, and with that being said, that's the first thing I'm going to tell you to do. Then I'm going to say, you know, okay, have you decided to make time for your business like what time do you put aside for your business what time do you put aside for your self-care for your for your mental health what time do you put aside do you spend more time on instagram or do you spend more time researching your industry and your niche do you spend more time scrolling youtube or watching youtube videos or do you spend more time in your creative zone, creating new things for your for your audience? And if you're still in the, the space where you're trying to figure out your purpose and how you actually emerge in your purpose, do you spend more time on social media? Do you spend more time listening to other people's um, instructions or examples? Or do you spend more time seeking God in his face? Which one do you do? And this is just the basics, you guys. This is just the foundational stuff, right? You're probably like, why is she talking about this basic, this, this basic stuff? And it's because I keep hearing it from, this, from people over and over again. Um, different people that I come in contact with, that it's like they're struggling with consistency. They're struggling, they're struggling with hearing from God. They're struggling with knowing exactly what to do next. They're struggling with um, finding clients. They're struggling with um, understanding what 
like understanding their passions they're struggling with going through this wilderness season right now and it's like have you even talked to God about it have you even sought him out about it have you made any time to speak with him and I'm not bashing anybody. I'm not judging anybody because I was in the same place. I was sitting there like, why am I so unhappy? Why am I not getting things done? Okay, I'm, I'm getting some clients in, but I'm not getting what I want out of this. I'm not feeling fulfilled. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. And I hadn't even took the time to, to spend time with God. I was spending more time on social media looking at all the big names in my industry like what they're doing and how they're doing it instead of going to the father to figure out exactly what it is that I should have been doing that's the secret sauce <laughs> that's the key that's the key so I'm gonna get off of here I'm gonna get off of here I'm gonna see what y'all have commented I'm gonna see everything that you guys have said and I'm going to respond um but my challenge to you today is, one, put your goal for the month of May into the, um, the comments. Put your goal for the month of May. And then I want you to write down this sentence. Dear girl in the mirror, this is, this is something I do with my clients. Um, and it's time for you to check yourself today. It's May 1st. It's time for you to check yourself, Okay. Dear girl in the mirror, it's time for me to check myself. I have not always been kind to myself by, how have you not been kind to yourself? For me, I have not always been kind to myself because I did not stay true to my feelings. I didn't stay true to my goals and my visions. I always wanted to do what other people wanted me to do always wanted to do what other people felt was right i always thought about what from what might this person think or what might that person think so i want you to start off with dear girl in the mirror i have not always been kind to myself in this way but on today i plan to change this this and this what do you plan to change what do you plan to do differently let me know in the PMs. You don't have to put it under here because it could be very personal. Um, we got to start with the foundational work, y'all. It's time for you to literally get in the mirror and check yourself. If you don't check yourself, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stagnant. The spirit, the spirit of paralysis will overtake you. The spirit of paralysis will keep you stuck. The spirit of paralysis will keep you scrolling on social media and being like, dang, why is that not me? How come I haven't made money in my business? How come I haven't figured out what my purpose and my passions are? How come I haven't had success like this person? How come I'm still living paycheck to paycheck? How come when you haven't checked yourself yet? And you can't blame anybody else if you won't take the time to check yourself. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Dear girl in the mirror, it's time to check yourself. I have not always been kind to myself by doing blank. But on today, that changes because. And don't forget to leave your goal commented below. And if you're here for the replay, hashtag replay hashtag replay um and yeah let me know y'all let me know what y'all thought about this send me a dm comment below whatever whatever and i'll see you in the next video